Glioblastoma multiforme GBM, is the most common and most malignant of the glial tumors. The clinical history of a patient with glioblastoma multiforme GBM, is usually short, less than three months in more than 50% of patients. It includes slowly progressive neurologic deficit, usually motor weakness, generalized manifestations of increased intracranial pressure, including headaches, nausea and vomiting, and cognitive impairment, seizures. Neurologic symptoms and signs can be either general or focal and reflect the location of the tumor as follows. General, headaches, nausea and vomiting, personality changes, and slowing of cognitive function. Focal, hemiparesis, sensory loss, visual loss, aphasia, and others. The etiology of GBM is unknown in most cases. Suggested causes include genetic factors, head injury, and nitroso compounds, occupational hazards, electromagnetic field exposure, all inconclusive. Glioblastomas can be classified as primary or secondary. Primary glioblastoma multiform accounts for the vast majority of cases, 60%, in adults older than 50 years. Secondary glioblastoma multiforms, 40%, typically develop in younger patients through malignant progression from a low-grade astrocytoma or anaplastic astrocytoma. The time required for this progression varies considerably, ranging from less than one year to more than 10 years. Increasing evidence indicates that primary and secondary glioblastomas constitute distinct disease entities that evolve through different genetic pathways, affect patients at different ages, and differ in response to some of the present therapies. The optimal chemotherapeutic regimen is not yet defined, but adjuvant chemotherapy appears to yield a significant survival benefit in more than 25% of patients. Agents include the following, temozolomide, nitrosreas, bevacizumab, tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Loss of heterozygosity, low, on chromosome arm 10q is the most frequent gene alteration for both primary and secondary glioblastomas. It occurs in 60-90% of cases. Mutations in p53, a tumor suppressor gene, were among the first genetic alterations identified in astrocytic brain tumors. The p53 gene appears to be deleted or altered in approximately 25-40% of all GBM, more commonly in secondary glioblastoma multiforms. Epidermal growth factor receptor gene is involved in the control of cell proliferation. Multiple genetic mutations are apparent, including both overexpression of the receptor as well as rearrangements that result in truncated isoforms. Overexpression or activation mutations in this gene are more common in primary glioblastoma, with mutations appearing in 40-50% of these tumors. Amplification or overexpression of MDM2 constitutes an alternative mechanism to escape from P53 regulated control of cell growth by binding the P53 and blunting its activity. Overexpression of MDM2 is the second most common gene mutation in glioblastoma multiforms. Platelet-derived growth factor alpha gene acts as a major mitogen for glial cells by binding to the PDGF receptor, PDGFR. Amplification or overexpression of PDGFR is typical, 60%, in the pathway leading to secondary glioblastomas. 10, also known as MMAC and TP1, encodes the tyrosine phosphatase located at band 10Q23.3. The function of 10 as a cellular phosphatase, turning off signaling pathways, is consistent with possible tumor suppression action. 
When phosphatase activity is lost because of genetic mutation, signaling pathways can become activated constitutively, resulting in aberrant proliferation. Ten mutations have been found in as many as 20% of glioblastomas, more commonly in primary. 